Urshad Sikdar, died the 10th of May 2004, was a Bangladeshi criminal and serial killer, known for committing various crimes such as murder, torture, theft, robbery and others. He was sentenced to death for murder and subsequently executed on May 10, 2004. A song by Abdus Sadr Mohan Tan, titled, I Will Be Dead, has been popularized throughout the country as Sikdar's song. Biography Early life Sikdar was born in the Madargona village of Nalchidi Upazila, Jalakati district. His father was Bengali. Between 1966-1967, Sikdar moved from his birthplace to the Kalna district. After arriving in Kalna, Urshad worked as a railway worker for some time. From there, he began gradually robbing along the railway lines and joined a gang. Later, he formed his own gang and earned the name Rangachara from the locals. Between 1976 and 1977, he formed another gang named Ramada Baini, which was involved in theft, robberies and terrorist activities along the Kalna railway station and the Fat area. Together with his gang, Urshad occupied the fourth and fifth areas of Fat, making it his exclusive regulator. Entry into politics in 1982, after the fall of former President Hussein Muhammad Urshad, Sikdar entered politics through the Jatuya party. In the 1988 election during the military rule, Sikdar was elected as the Commissioner of Ward 8. After forming the BNP government in 1991, Sikdar joined it. On December 26, 1996, he again changed his party to the Ah Ami League, but soon after being criticized, he was expelled. At the time of his 1999 arrest, he was still the Commissioner of Ward 8. Criminal acts and murders after entering politics, Sikdar's power grew. From 1984 to 1986, he was involved in the possession of Kalna properties, occupying private property the drug trade, extortion and other criminal activities. In 1991, he drove out the owner of an ice factory named Rafiq, from the Fourth Fat area, appropriated the ice factory and forced all traders to buy ice from him. It is also known that he used the ice factory as his torture center. Urshad was accused of more than 60 murders, together with one of his collaborators, Rajas Akshinur Alam. The latter later gave a statement in the court describing 24 killings, further claiming that Sigler has more than 70 victims, although only one weapon was recovered from his house, known as the Swarna Camel. Personal life It is known that Sigler was married six times. His first wife was Kodaja Begum, whom he married in 1973. Another wife, named Sanhid Akhtar Shaba, received a luxurious gold house. Aside from them, there were Taslima of Rapsharjapur village, Afarada of Bagarhat, Ranpal Upazila, another unknown wife and the Durgar Gare of Payat Gacha. Nur Alam also alleged that his wife Hira was tortured by Urshad. Urshad's first wife Kodaja gave birth to four children, three sons and the daughter. After his arrest, a fifth child was born, a girl named Janatul Nurin Ameliesa. Arrest and death Sikdar was arrested in 1999, with 43 cases filed under his name. During the trial at the lower court, he was sentenced to death in seven murder cases, along with additional four life sentences. He tried to appeal the decision by writing a petition to President Ayajuddin Ahmed, but he rejected the appeal and Sikdar was executed at the Kalna Central Jail on May 10, 2004. References